This video is partially made possible by Gigabyte. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video review. Today we're gonna have a look at the Cool Master Hyper 212 Evo CPU cooler. So this is a CPU cooler. It's not a really large cooler and neither is it very heavy. The heatsink consists of aluminum fins and an aluminum base and four 6mm copper heat pipes. And as you can see these heat pipes feature direct touch. And this means that the heat pipes themselves touch the CPU and this is a very efficient way to transfer the heat from your CPU to the cooler. Taking the fan off is very easy just by pulling these clips here like that and then it comes off like that. Now as you can see they include this 120mm fan with the cooler. It has a nice looking black cable with a 4 pin connector for your motherboard. And here's a list of specifications of the fan, like the rounds per minute which is 600 to 1600, the airflow which goes from 24.9 to 66.3 CFM, and the decibel level goes from 9 up to 31 decibels. Now as you can see you've got these plastic modules here which are used to install the fan on the heatsink. Well they also include a few more of these. These. And they are here so that you can install two fans on the heatsink for a push-pull configuration. Some other things they include are also some rubber stickers to stick inside the plastics here to reduce vibrations, thus also the noise levels because then the plastic doesn't touch the heat sinks. They've also got some thermal grease here and all the needed screws to install the brackets. And by the way you can install this cooler on many sockets of both AMD and Intel. And now let's get to the installation. Now when installing the CPU cooler make sure that your CPU is clean and that the cooler here is clean as well. Now you can see there is this uh, label here. We have to take that off when we put the cooler on top of the CPU. But first we need to add some thermal paste. Now I'm going to use the Zalman Thermal Grease ZM... Uh, what is it? STG1 uh, Thermal Grease. So we're going to put a layer of that on the CPU cooler. Now the layer is on, we didn't make it too thick or too thin, this is just to make sure there's good contact between the heatsink and the CPU. There we go, the retention plate is on. And now, let's put the other things we need to put on this heatsink. That would be this. Alright, so we stick it through the heatsink like that. And open it a little bit more, and then we can make the bracket fit. So then we put it on top of the CPU. Just put it on there. And I can basically just start screwing those screws into the other screws which hold the retention plate in place. And I'm doing this by hand just to make sure that the holes are all correctly lined up. There we go, that's all very tight. I can you know, you can see what I can do here. Let's make sure it's all installed correctly, and it is. So quickly, what I did is we installed the back plate here. We used uh, some screws for that, and then we need this tool to make you know, these things that helps you installing them here like that and the back plate is, is securely in place you can put the motherboard down and then you have the heatsink which you install using this bracket and it's all very universal so there's no uh, brackets going to be left over but you can use both well the two well the bracket and the back plate for both AMD and Intel so that's very good it's very nice uh, make sure that the CPU uh, has the thermal grease 
uh, make sure the CPU is clean first, make sure that the uh, the contact point on the heatsink is clean, make sure that you peeled off uh, this label and now there's one more thing we need to do and that is install the fan now just of course doing that isn't difficult you take the fan and make sure it's on the heatsink correctly make sure it's kind of in the middle of the heatsink and uh, that should be about it and as you can see there's not a lot of space here for the memory so I'll take you guys of the tripod for this one so there isn't a lot of space there you can maybe put one more module here but that's not really, not really useful so uh, it's also because of the motherboard here which I have I am also gonna have that problem with this motherboard but yeah uh, CPU cooler is installed now let's test how good this one is compared to the stock cooler using 3.4 gigahertz of uh, clock speed on the CPU and also 4 gigahertz with the stock cooler on the bench system we reached a delta temperature of 7.5 degrees celsius at idle and 44 degrees celsius at full load with a clock speed of 3.5 gigahertz with the Hyper 212 EVO the delta temperatures were 6 degrees celsius at idle and 40.2 degrees celsius at full load also with a clock speed of 3.5 gigahertz now we also overclocked the CPU a little to 4 GHz and at that speed the delta temperatures were 6.5 degrees celsius at idle and 52 degrees celsius at full load. Now bear in mind that this was tested on our test bench so these temperatures would all have been even lower when the components were installed in an actual case with decent ventilation. As conclusion I can say very straightforward that this is a very good price quality cooler. For less than 30 euros you get very good cooling and this cooler is certainly good if you're doing some small overclocking. What is also nice are the extra brackets that were included so you could install an extra fan for a push-pull configuration and also the black cable on the fan is very nice. Of course also the heat pipes with direct touch are decent and the very universal installation brackets and backplates are awesome. I honestly don't have much negative things to say, perhaps only the installation which isn't the most toolless but honestly there's nothing really wrong with this. Now considering the price and everything else this is a brilliant CPU cooler. Thanks for watching this video review, if you have a question leave it here on YouTube or post it in the forums on our website. And also don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And thanks to Cooler Master for sponsoring us once again, and I'll see you guys in the next video.